The school's water is all yellow. Nope. 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 Ew. Lolo. Oh, now it's clear. <laughs> Look at this. The school is falling apart, and I think that this is going to fix it. It smells like mold. It's 88 degrees, and the ceiling's leaking. cost me on average less than 70 cents per day will we lose anything one ball field why should i vote for the levy the children of our district deserve the same educational advantages we enjoyed the 67 percent that the state is paying will likely be just drastically reduced if the levy is not passed in may we feel this is right plan for Harrisville. is the proposed conceptual drawing set in stone no no, no. Can you tell me about open enrollment? Sure. Of the approximately 240 open enrollment children receiving an education on our district, about 140 come to us from Defiant City Schools. We receive $5,800 per student via the state funding formula for each open enrollment student entering our school. 
For our own residents, students, we only receive 2595 from the state funding formula, as our state share is less. As you can see, we receive, receive more state funding for open enrollment students than for resident students of our district. Another point to consider is that we currently pay 9500 per student. We have approximately 840 students, 600 resident students, and 200 are open enrolled. Without open enrollment, our cost per pupil would be $13,300. Past the comedic side of this video, we have a sincere message. We don't mean to complain about some of the privileges that we are lucky to have, but we do hope to change the way you view this school. It's old, except the high school. Even then, it's still pretty old. I have heard from parents and other people that kids are extremely happy to go to Ayersville. They're happy to not be a part of a heavy influence of drugs, alcohol, and other cliche, rebellious youth influences. We have put together a school and education program like no other. A school day is more like a family gathering. Kids smile at the fact that they're entering the classrooms of teachers who talk to them like they're their friends, who know our kids like their own, who have gone through generations of their students' lives, who have seen their good side and bad, who have watched them grow up into young adults and finally release them into the real world. This school, these influences, these experiences, this family may someday be gone without a yes vote. I don't ask you on my behalf, I ask you on behalf of all students. This is a group of passionate, bright young adults. Don't take this away from them. Their future is on the highest shelf. In order to reach their future, we must build the ladder. Please, vote yes.